Hello, everybody. Welcome to the White House Press Room 2016. Things have changed in the country, and I'm glad to be part of it. Okay, so we had some pretty good news this week. A lot of things the uh, president said and did uh, were, <laughs> am I right? So uh, I don't know where to start. So why don't we just take a couple of questions? Philip? The president has said that certain countries in Africa are, quote, shithole countries. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Ha, huh. well, uh, the president uh, is a jokester of uh, being a reality television star, and he wanted everyone to have a good laugh. You know, just at the expense of people who are a different color and race. That's a horrible response. Yes, it is. Next question. Good morning, everyone. I so enjoyed playing Red Rover on the South Lawn with each of you. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that we have 6.4% growth in the country right now. 60% of people are vaccinated and the jobless rate is whew, dropping like a rock. Any questions? Jen, how many people did the president just randomly help today? Oh, <laughs> you silly head. We don't have that kind of time. I'll just say countless. Uh, he's already given his personal cell phone number to a few thousand people so that he could inspire them whenever they need him. Oh, you guys, last night he helped a woman give birth in a cab and then refused to let her name the baby after him. He suggested they name the baby Barack. <laughs> he's so phenomenal. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's, it's getting weirder, isn't it? Uh, so, um, before we get started, I would like to say we believe the best thing to do in our current situation is um, nothing. Yeah, the president thinks the virus will go away like a miracle, and a lot of people are saying that he was uh, sent by, uh, by God. So, uh, any questions, Phil? Uh, the president said he wanted to try injecting bleach. It's kind of hard to believe any president would say that. No, 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 no. He said disinfectant bleach <laughs> would be stupid. Okay. What kind of disinfectant would he use? Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, uh, something natural, I would guess. Uh, like a, a Mrs. Meyer, something that would be um, safe and gluten free. You know, that would... Yes, Phil? He also said he could cure COVID with a powerful light. So are we going to have Americans stand near a lighthouse? Powerful light. Yeah, that was... <laughs> We're done here, okay? Powerful light. Maybe he's talking about the light of God. Maybe that's what he's saying, you know? And he's part of the Christian community and they believe in God. Do you not believe in God, you Antifa son of a bitch? So, everything the president has tried has worked. I don't even have information in here. I've just been playing hangman with former Vice President Pence. <laughs> oh, we've reunited almost all the kids at the border with their parents, and the ones that didn't get reunited, the president has adopted them, moved them into the White House. Jill is teaching them English. Guess what, guys? ABC is developing a sitcom called President Poppy and they just bought four seasons. Anything else? Yes, but what about his vicious dog nipping someone? Is that all you got? That's funny, seriously. Well, it turns out that Major grabbed the hand of a blind guest and led him through the rose garden so he could smell the flowers that the president had to replace after the last guy ripped them out and turned it into a barren wasteland of sadness because happiness lives here now. Okay. Yeah, but but what about? Hey, hoody, yeah, but hi -de -ho. They said you that, don't need a talkie talk. Yeah, but boo -de -boo, ha, boo. my turn to talk next. You're right. I, I apologize. I apologize. Okay, I would like to uh, 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 ask everybody to welcome themselves to the press conference. Uh, so uh, we have some things to discuss with uh, you, reporters. But before we do any, I forgot my binder. Got it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, facts. It looks like uh, hydroxychloroquine does not work at all. And uh, 
Death rates went up. <laughs> but you know, the president and all, we said he wasn't a doctor. He's kind of, you know. Uh, the death toll, by the way, has surpassed every major war. So, uh, yeah, that's bad. Uh, yes, Phil has a question. Well, we'd like to ask about the 9 million jobs lost due to a, I wrote it down, lack of a plan. Anything? All right, well, let me just say, witch hunt hoax! This press conference is over! I forgot my binder. Everybody, thank you for coming. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? You know what? Why do I even carry this? It's just filled with victory. Smells good. Before we get started, I hope all of you are enjoying the ice cream. Mm. It was hand churned by the president himself and the first lady. They do that every Tuesday as a love trust building exercise. They churn fresh cream and stare into each other's eyes as that heavenly oh. treat comes to life. Just so you know, it's not just sugary ice cream you're eating. It's a funnel of love. Questions? I do have a question. Uh, the Republicans are bent on obstruction. How will the president counter that? Oh, Phil, you. One man's obstruction is another man's attempt to heal the divisions in the greatest democracy ever created. The ship of liberty has already sailed on those haters and we will make sure that everyone has free money and an education that rivals Socrates. And we'll have that done by next Wednesday. Okay? Are we good, Phil? Are you good with that? Welcome to the press room. Uh, again? Uh, I don't need, why the f okay. <laughs> All right, so you don't even bother asking. We're not calling it an insurrection per se, honestly. Uh, is a randy group of tourists armed with tasers and tear gas. We will just call it a tailgate party that got out of hand. God damn it, Phil has a question. What, Phil? This administration has had four years. Can you give us one thing they did right? One? Yes, I can. We have had great success with... <laughs> All right, you know where we really shined, Phil, was we, you know, when it comes to statistics, we just have, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Wow. The only thing you can do is I was going to have a career. <laughs> Look, that's over now. That's over now. <laughs> I love you. Phenomenal. That's how it's going. I have another surprise for you guys today. The president has invited you all for a sleepover. I get Lincoln bedroom. Oh, and last thing, check under your chairs. That's right. That's right, because you get health care and you get health care and you get health care. Let's all just go to the White House and throw a pizza in the oven and play some ping pong box against MSNBC. I got 100 on Rachel Maddow. Oh, one last thing. I know I said that already, but there's one more. Another Biden bonus. Stop by the Oval Office on your way out and pick up a puppy Aww, for your kids. I want or one. Or take two. We don't care. We're doing so well. We've got so much surplus. We can afford it. <laughs> it's a pup. He's a poopy pup. We love President Biden. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, I love this job.